and welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. Want to apologize for last week not getting an episode out. Uh, my mother in Lawton, Oklahoma had an emergency, so I had to zip up there, spend some time with her. But hopefully we've got everything straightened out and we should be back on track with everything. So we appreciate your patience. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything going? Well, busy. Yeah. It's hot. Hot. Crazy hot <laughs> in Texas right now. Yeah, I was uh, in Lawton, Oklahoma with my mom uh, the last couple of days, and it was hitting 100, 101. Goodness. It's, it's, it's nuts. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. So the reason why we're doing this particular one is because we're trying to find some really good summer blends mm -hmm. to, uh, to smoke in this Texas uh, climate. Yeah. So we think we found one for you today. Today we are going to do Ken Byron Ventures Burley Morning Pipe. Yep. Okay. All right. It's made by Ken Byron Ventures. Uh, this is an aromatic. It's a burly. Uh, matter of fact, it's 100% burly. Burly. Yep. Yeah. Burly, uh, burly, burly. It's got uh, cocoa chocolate flavoring, some coffee flavoring, and some cream flavoring. Comes in a ribbon. Uh, you buy this in two ounce packages and the cool thing with Ken Byron is is that he will uh, vacuum seal this in a kind oh. of a, a, a mylar it looks like mylar uh, Ziploc bag That's and so when you get it it's perfectly sealed you could set you could put it on the shelf of your cellar and leave it there because it's let it age yeah, yeah it's let it age and it's perfectly sealed That's but cool. uh, they do come in two ounce packages um, so um, the strength to this one is a mild to medium. Yeah. Flavoring is moderate. Um, taste is mild to medium. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started about uh, with this one. What's, okay. What's your thoughts on the tin note to start with on this one? Well, I was, ever since we tried Kramer's, I was really excited to try because Kramer's, from what I remember, started as just a blender. He had opened his own tobacco shop. He was a tobacconist that just opened his own tobacco shop. And I mean, I guess that's how everybody started, you know. But compared to your big blends like Peter Heinrichs and Cornell and Deal and Samuel Goweth and all those, you know, Ken Byron is just a one standing tobacconist guy against a corporation. So I was excited and nervous because sometimes you get rough stuff from those guys. Man, I love this smell. <laughs> That's what I... I open the tin. It's just so creamy. You get that cocoa. Just the, just the slightest bit of cocoa. But it's sweet. It's inviting. But it's not chemical. And that's what I like about the smell on it. It's, it's not an artificial... You know, right off the bat, I'm getting kind of a vanilla cream. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the strongest scent that I'm getting. A little bit of nuttiness from the from the burly. I get yeah, that sweetness is there. Um, get a little bit of co that coffee's hidden in there. Yeah. That that uh, chocolate is not very strong at all. No, it's, it's, it's just pretty you, light. You get it, but it's not very strong. Yeah. It, it it's pretty pretty. Uh, nice tin note to this yep all right so let's get on this what do you think about the taste on this one so first light up that coffee is a lot more forward than some of those other flavors in my opinion i get the nuttiness just from the burleys i mean it's all burley but the burley is primarily in anything i smoke that's a burley flavor i get a lot more of that hazelnut that nuttiness that comes through um, in this smoke particular and which which pairs well with the coffee flavoring that's present there as well uh, the vanilla the the creamy vanilla-ness I don't taste the sweetness very much from it but I can feel how smooth the velvety smoke is. It's kind very of, velvety yeah it is a creamy smoke plus a creamy smell but it's a lot more sweeter on the tin note than it is the taste but I thoroughly enjoy it you know, the tobaccos don't, they do kind of uh, uh, kind of tie in with the tobacco taste. You do get those flavorings, mm -hmm. the toppings, but it doesn't outweigh the tobacco. So that nuttiness of the burley does come through pretty well. Um, I think 
the coffee actually the coffee taste is the strongest in this one um, r rather than when I smelled the, you know, when we got the tin note from yeah. it it was more of a vanilla cream mm -hmm. that becomes a little bit back on the taste where the coffee comes forward a little bit yeah I agree the cocoa and the cream toppings uh, kind of back off a they little bit they just accent but it's primarily that nutty coffee flavor that you're getting through perfect for the name burly morning pipe yeah. Oh, it's just. I mean, it's it's a play on the on the Dunhill early morning pipe. Yeah. yeah but uh, it's nothing nothing like it. No. At it's, all. It's very pleasant, and it's a very good morning smoke with a cup of coffee. Yep. This is a. It's nice and creamy. It's sweet. Uh, the the flavor has been consistent from the t uh, top to bottom. Uh, the burleys. As you smoke it a little bit more and end up coming out a little stronger so it's not a strong aromatic through the whole thing the aromatic part of it is prominent at the beginning of the smoke yes. but quickly uh, kind of covers itself yeah and opens up to the burleys a little bit more yep yep this is delicious yeah it is what do you think about the moisture level when it came I mean you said they came yeah. in vacuum sealed bags yeah and it was wet I mean, it wasn't necessarily just really, you know, where you couldn't smoke it. It was slightly moist, but but you could smoke it straight out of the bag. But I don't do that. I dry it out just a little bit, mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe like 15 minutes or so. Yeah, just to let it get Yeah, started. just kind of breathe a little bit. Um, but it's not bad coming out of the bag. It's, it's, it's smokable for sure. But um, it's just, you know, the, the scent leads you to think that this is going to be a really heavy aromatic and yeah. it's going to be hot, it's going to be goopy, it's going to, and you start smoking it and you don't get that. No, you don't. I get more burly taste out of this than I do the toppings, but those toppings complement Yes, the burly. That's, that's where I was kind of saying on that tin note, it's not a chemical smell to the topping. I can slightly smell a little bit of a, it's more of a natural topping that they add to it than it is yeah. like a, just a flavoring. I definitely added. don't get a chemical taste I from it either. at all, or artificial no, taste at it's, all. It's very pleasant. Yeah. And the, the nicotine hit on this is just moderate. It's not, you know, it's not mild. It's not medium. Mm -hmm. It's right in between. Um, this goes wonderfully with a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. This really does the trick in the mornings for me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this has been really good, as you guys can probably tell. Yeah, it's almost gone. <laughs> You're gonna have to get some more. <laughs> yeah. You know, we've been trying really hard to find these summer blends, and I was a little worried about this with all the, the you know, the chocolate and the, and the coffee and everything kind of being too heavy. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. This is really tasty. Yeah. All right, well, so what do you think about the room note? I think the room note is where you recapture the smell of the tin note. You smoke it, that, that sweet vanilla aroma isn't present, the taste isn't really there, it just complements very well with the coffee flavors and the burly tobacco flavors, but when you go back into the room note, there's that pleasant smell. Yeah. It's very tolerable very pleasant God, i think pleasant. even people yeah. who don't smoke pipe tobacco or who don't smoke would still find this as a very pleasant aroma yeah it doesn't linger for a long time either it's it's there and then it dissipates mm -hmm. um you know sitting it right next to my co cup of coffee uh when the two of them are working together <laughs> oh, man, it, it's pretty it's pretty nice yeah it, it is pretty nice cool well, there's a few other things that I want you to know about this blend. Um, it's there's no hotness to it at all. Uh, it's it, it's pretty consistent all the way. Uh, it's not harsh at all. It burns cool. It burns clean. Uh, there's a slight bit of dampness at the end of the bowl. Yeah, to be expected with American tobaccos. Yeah, and with the, add the addition of toppings yeah. to it, you know, there's go, there's going to be a little bit of that. 
and every now and then I'll have to relight just to kind of keep it going. I think not only just in the morning, but this could be an all-day smoke. I think so, too. Yeah. This is a very good smoke. Especially, especially in, the in the heat. Yeah, especially in the heat. Um, this, I read a little thing on his website, uh, a little blurb, and this is spe was specially made to pair with coffee in the morning. He's so, you know, the, yeah, it's a great tobacco to, for the morning. Clever title to go uh, with it. Um but I think you could smoke this all day. Now, yeah. I want to read something to you from the website, and then we'll give you the website here in a he little says, bit. He says, smoke for three minutes until you start to taste the nuttiness of the burly. Retrohale for the dark roast coffee notes. At this point, your palate is primed to start your coffee. I have a friend who actually drinks a glass of milk with this blend. I take half and half with my coffee since the milk fat really helps the flavor bloom for both the drink and the smoke so pretty cool yeah uh you know pr pretty pretty cool concept for everything um that's interesting the glass of milk though that's i bet it brings out the creaminess yeah cold milk would be really good yeah um there's also a version of this on his website that's stronger burly flavor called burlier <laughs> morning pipe <laughs> so if you like that really really go for a burly taste then then you might try that one i haven't mm. tried that one yet um you know this is not like a Rattray's bagpipers or the bob's chocolate flake where those flavors are really light yeah in the tobacco this is has a little more uh um, american style yeah. of um, aromatic yeah yeah but uh just really tasty and and, yeah. and those flavors don't compete with the tobacco that's the that's the real thing that i like here there's no competition between you know what's going to come through stronger what's not you know at the beginning of the pipe versus the end of the pipe it all blends very well now you need to take your time with this because it can get hot if yeah you, you know if you smoke it so take your time and and i haven't noticed any ghosting this is uh, I'm smoking today my Costello 4K uh, signature poker that Costello makes. Uh, this is probably a pipe that was made in the 80s. Yeah. Something like that. And this is kind of my aromatic pipe. Uh, but I have smoked it in a couple of other briars, and I didn't notice the ghosting at all. What are you smoking it in today? Uh, this is actually a Savinelli pipe. Um that was purchased in Italy. Mm. I remember so it, that. Yeah, it's just a, it's just one of the made at Savinelli factory. Yeah, it was a natural local, pipe, wasn't it? it was all natural. Uh, this this whole color blend that's on it is from three years of smoking and just enjoying my pipe. It, it's not a, a series name or anything. It's just a from Savinelli on your shop floor. Cool pipe. It's really nice. Cool. Um, I think I'm going to smoke this in the summertime. I think so too. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to. This will be in my regular rotation. I, I like it that much. Yeah. All right. So we talked about that. It comes in two ounce uh, sealed Ziploc bags. Uh, it is small batch. His stuff is small batch, mm -hmm. and once you see it on a website, on his website, you better jump at it because it has a tendency to disappear. Yep. Uh, along with a lot of the other blends that he also does. Mm -hmm. uh, so. You know, this one, actually, this Burley Morning Pipe, I've seen on his website m longer than any other tobacco that he has. But I don't know if that means he may be running short now. Yeah. You know, and won't, not sure when he's going to get around to making another batch. I don't know. So, anyway, um, uh, it's the cool thing also is that he also will send you a jarring lid <laughs> uh, sticker with this so it's it's and it's really a pretty cool sticker so um that's that's kind of neat that too now cool. here's the thing 12 uh two ounces uh -huh. 13 bucks mm -hmm. so it's six dollars and fifty cents an ounce yeah little little higher than a lot of the other tobaccos that we've tried on this but i'm going back for more i am too yeah so you know it's it's good so obviously the price is not a factor and uh when you get into this small batch 
blending yeah. like this, you know, and I'm not sure where he's sourcing his tobaccos from, but, the, you know, they're very quality tobaccos. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Yeah, so anyway, uh, cool. So what are you going to give it? Uh, I think it, it is a great smoke. It is above average smoke. Uh, I am finding myself very partial to Burley's, but I can't quite tell if that's because of my summer heat, craving a little more sweetness and some nuttiness, or if it's just because I'm starting to really enjoy Burley's. So I'm going to stick with the three and a half on this one. Three and a half Really shot. because I don't want to give it some of the scores that my Virginia aromatics get. But it's a darn good smoke. You know, um... It's it's strong. It's it's a good, yeah. s- just a really good tobacco. Um, not quite sure it's as good as the Rattray's Bagpipers. No, I wouldn't put it up there yet. Not sh- quite sure if it's as good as Bob's Flake. I think uh, Chocolate Flake. Yeah, but it's really close. It's very close. It's really close. So I'm going to. I started off with one, and I think I'm going to change it. But I think I'm going to give it a three and a half also. Yeah. But a strong three and yeah, a half. Yeah, that's, that's me. It's a very solid three and a half. If we had a three-quarter shot glass, we would have given it a three seven five. Yeah. You know, and just because I just don't smoke <laughs> aromatics yeah, don't that either. much. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm afraid to give it a... You know, just a raving review, but it is great. Yeah. It's a great tobacco. So I'm going to stick with three and a half. So we give it a three and a half. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so here's here's your two. All right. Here's, <laughs> here's your three and a half. There we go. All right. Ken Byron Ventures Burly Morning Pipe. The website to this is kbven.com. I'm going to post it in the description yes. uh, of the uh, in the YouTube video as well, so that you'll have a link to go to his website. Don't just look at this one. There is a bunch of them. He's also got one called Dark uh, Dark Fire Cherry. Uh huh. Yes. Great. Great one. Uh, uh, Mountain of Madness. King's Ransom, too. Yeah, I've tried all four of those, and they're really, really tasty. And as soon as the Byronic slices come out, mm-hmm. I'm probably going to try some of those as well. I can say that we haven't had at least one of his tobaccos. Maybe that we liked one more than the other, but all have been a good smoke. The Byronic slices are supposed to be, he, he claims, as quality as the McClellan's 5100 red virginias we'll see yeah because as soon as it comes out i'm going to jump on some and get some we've done the mcclellan's one haven't we? all right well there we go man three and a half ken byron ventures burly morning pipe got anything else you want to share uh once again we want to apologize for the uh gap in episode uh we try to uh make sure we have at least something posted every week for you guys something that you can give us some feedback on or comment on uh, but please, if you uh, have some tips, have some hints, or if you just have some recommendations, I know we still have a list filling up right now, and we still have our own list that we're trying to cut through. Uh, but if you keep making that list bigger, we'll keep getting the tobacco, <laughs> keep smoking them for you guys. So Yeah, I just bought a bunch of C&D stuff. The smoking yeah. pipes had a sale going on. Oh, yeah. And I so I, I, bought, too. I bought a whole bunch of that stuff. So we'll be doing some C&D stuff here coming up, too. All right. Uh, All right. I, I really appreciate you guys coming and watching the video and sticking with us. Thanks a lot, guys. Don't forget. Make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. <laughs>